In this video, I am going to show you step-by-step -step how to create a branded Shopify store using eComposer. eComposer is the latest Shopify page builder, and it has some amazing features that I want to cover in this video. So, let's not waste any time and get started. First of all, we need to sign up for a Shopify trial. To do that, click on the first link which is given in the video description. This is an affiliate link which will provide you the latest offers and discount of Shopify. When you click on this link, it will take you to this page. Here you only need to enter your email and continue. Next, Shopify will ask you some questions regarding your business. These are some survey questions which you can simply skip by clicking on this skip all button. Next, select your country and then click next. Now, use one of these four options to create your account. Once you do that, it will take you to the Shopify dashboard. You can manage your entire store from here. On the left-hand side, you can see these options. Then in the middle, we have this checklist. You only need to follow this checklist to set up your store. And before we start the design process, it's important to add your products into the store. That way, you won't have any issues while designing your store. To add your product, click on this Add Product button. This is where you can add your own products. You can also access this section from the left menu. Simply go to Products and then click on Add Product. First, you need to add your title here, then add your product description here. And then on the media, you can upload all your product images and videos. And once the images are uploaded, you can rearrange them as per your preferences. Make sure that your primary image is in the first place. Next, when you scroll down, you'll be able to add your pricing here. And then we have some other options like adding product variants, etc. For now, I will simply leave this page. That's because I have a list of products that I have to add in my store. So instead of adding them one by one, I will simply import the product details in bulk. Simply click on this import button and then upload your product files here. You can simply download a sample product file by clicking this blue text and then fill in all the product info and upload it here. This will save us a lot of time and will also help us organize our products properly. Now, as you can see, our products have been imported successfully. You can simply click on any product from this list and check if all the information is placed correctly. All right, now that we've successfully added our products, the next step would be to install the page builder. So we need to install the eComposer app into our Shopify dashboard. To do that, click on Apps on the left, and then search for eComposer in the search bar. Now, click on this eComposer page builder, which will take you to this page. If you are following this video on your desktop, then you can directly access this page using the first link which is given in the video description. Now, click on this Install button. This will redirect you to the Shopify dashboard, where you need to again click on this Install button. Then, you need to click on this Next button. Again. Click on this Next button. Next, it will ask you for your store password. To get your store password, you need to click on this blue text, which will take you to your store settings. From here, you can simply copy the store password and then paste it to eComposer. Then click on this Save button and then hit Next. Next, it will ask you to select a page template. So, click on Select Page Template. Now you'll see some page templates here, which you can choose for your store. By default, the blank template is selected here. And since it is a tutorial video, I will show you an overview of how this page editor actually works. So, I will continue with the blank template. All right, now we need to give our page a name and then click on Start Building button. This will take us to the eComposer editor from where we can design the pages for our store. Now, when you scroll down, you'll again see some templates. We will show you how to use this templates later on. On the left-hand side, when you click on Select Section, you'll again see some pre-made blocks. We also have an Elements tab here, which will help us design our store. And then we have a lot of other options here, which I will show you later on. For now, I will close this part. On the top right, you can see these small icons. You can use them to have a preview of your design in different devices. Personally, I like to edit the pages in desktop mode. So let me show you how to edit this page. First, on the left-hand side, 
you'll see these elements. These elements will help us add different sections on our website. You can simply drag and drop these elements and then customize them as per your need. But before that, it's important that you select a structure for your website. You can see different structures here. We only need to select one and then start designing. For now, I will select this two column structure. Now, as you can see, there are two columns added to our page. And on the left-hand side, you'll get the editing options. From here, you can increase or decrease the size of your column. And there are a lot of other options here. For example, let's say I want to change the background color of this column. To do that, I will go to the Design tab, and then I will select a background color here. By moving this up and down, you'll be able to change the color. You can remove these background color by clicking on this Reset button. All right, now let's go back to the elements and start designing the home page. First, I will drag a heading element from this list and then drop it into the left column. And now, I can customize this element as per my need. For example, we can select this dummy text and then add our own text here. Then on the left-hand side, you'll see some more editing options. By using these options, you will be able to change your font styles. Then from the Design tab, you can change the alignment of your text. Then we also have the Advanced tab, from where you can add some animations and effects into this text. Most of the Shopify page builders work the same way. However, what I like about eComposer is that it provides some presets. When you click on Choose Presets option, you'll see some pre-made designs that you can use into your store. Since we have selected the heading element, it is showing us all the heading presets. Now, as soon as you click on any of these presets, the effects will be applied to your actual heading. Let's say that I choose this preset for my heading. Now, I can simply go back and start editing this preset as per my need. For now, I will simply change this dummy text. Next, I will go to the Elements tab once again, and then I will add a text paragraph below the heading. We can simply select these dummy text and replace it with our own content. We also have different presets that we can apply on this paragraph. Next, I want to add a button below the paragraph. So, I will simply drag a button element and drop it below the paragraph. On the left-hand side, you can change the button text and also add a link to your button. You can also choose different button styles from the presets. There are over 20 presets to choose from, so choose the one that fits your style. Next, I will go back to the settings and then change the button text first. Then from the Design tab, I can also change the color of the button. For now, I will keep it as it is. Next, I want to add an image on the right column. To do that, I will go back to Elements and then choose an image element for the second column. Next, click on this Change button on the left and then choose the image you want to display here. I will simply add one of my product image here. This one isn't looking good, so I will again change the image and choose a different image this time. Now, if you go to Presets, you'll see that there are no presets for the image. But I hope that eComposer team will add some in the near future. eComposer provides a lot of customization options, so feel free to play around with these settings so that you'll get used to it. For now, I will delete all these elements and sections. To do that, we only need to select the element and then click on the trash icon to remove it from our page. You can also right-click on the element or section and then click on Delete. Now, to practice this eComposer editor, I recommend that you simply drag and drop some elements from the left menu and then simply play around with the settings. You can also try different presets and then try to change these images and text. That way, you'll get used to the editor and also understand all the other features of this editor. All right. Now I will show you how to use the pre-made blocks into your page. To do that, simply click on this Explore Library option. This will open up the pre-made sections, which you can use into your page. You only need to go through these sections and see if there is any section that you can use into your store page. And once you found one, just click on this Insert Now button and then Confirm. And just like this, the pre-made section will be added to your page and then you only need to change these images and text based on your need. 
As you can see, all these sections are editable and made with the same text and image elements that we used earlier. All right, now let's add some more sections into our page. You can access the pre-designed templates from this left menu as well. There are a lot of sections to choose from, and when you click on this View All button, you'll see even more sections. These are the most downloaded sections. You can simply click on this Preview button to have a detailed look of these sections. And once you've found a section that fits your need, you can click on this Insert button to add it into your store. And just like this, you can add as many sections you want. This will help you design your pages even faster and save you a lot of time and energy. You can also filter these sections based on their categories. Let's say that I want to show a couple of my products on this page. So I will search for the product category, and then I will have a list of all the designs that I can use to show my products. So I will randomly select one of these sections for my page. And as you can see, eComposer has taken our own products and added them on this section. And just like this, we have got a proper structure for our store homepage. All right, now I will show you another awesome way to design your page. So I will again delete all these sections from this page. Then I will again click on Explore Library. But this time, instead of choosing a section, I will go to Pages. This is where you can find a lot of pre-made templates that you can directly import to your Shopify store. These templates are fully structured and designed by professionals. We only need to choose one of these templates for our store, and then we need to replace the content with our own unique content. Since we are designing the home page for our store, we will use the home page filter. Next, I want to see all the templates, so I will click on this view all button. And now, I only need to go through all these templates and see which one fits my needs. This one looks great, so I will simply preview it. And then after previewing this, I will click on this insert button to add this template into our editor. All right, now we only need to change all the content of this page and replace them with our own images and text. As you can see this warning message here, which says that this is just a demo image and will not be visible in the actual store, which means that you need to change all these images from this page. Of course, since this is just a tutorial video, I will not be going to customize every part of it as it will just increase the video duration. On top of that, I don't have many images to add on this page right now. But before you leave this video, I have some very important resources that will give your store a professional look. First up, you need high quality images and banners for your store. To get them, you can go to websites like freepick.com or unsplash.com. These website contains premium quality stock images and videos that you can use into your store without any copyright issues. Second, there is a website called Canva which can help you create attractive banners for your store. And the best part is that all these websites are totally free to use. So I hope that this information is sufficient for you to design your store. All right, once the design part of your store is complete, you'll need to publish it and set it as a home page. And make sure to preview your store in both desktop and mobile mode as well. Next, to publish this design, you simply need to hit this publish button and then click on this Save and Publish button. Now click on this View button to have a look at your design. Here, you need to enter your store password. So copy your store password and then paste it here. Then go back to the eComposer editor and again click on this View button. And now we'll be able to see a preview of the page that we've created. Now as you can see, there are some images that are not showing on this page. You need to add your own images on these parts. Since I haven't changed those images, the store is looking like a mess. But once you replace them with your image, it will turn back to normal. And that's basically everything you need to learn about eComposer Page Builder. If you just follow these steps, you'll be able to create a professional storefront in no time. After the designing part is complete, the next step will be to add a domain to your store. Then you also need to set up a payment gateway and also set up the shipping rates. These are some technical stuffs which I will not cover in this video. Instead, I will make separate video on those topics and then leave a link to them in the video description. 
I also recommend that you only use this page builder to create one product store. Since this page builder only lets you publish one page with their free plan, which means that if you are using a free plan, you won't be able to publish more than one page in your Shopify store. This is a big drawback of this page builder. In my opinion, they should at least provide three pages in their free plan. But anyway, this is a great tool for designing professional e-commerce websites. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or queries, feel free to ask us in the comments section. Thank you for watching this video.